What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Steven Asatoski here of the Maze of Blue Review, bringing you highlights analysis of Michigan's close win over the Iowa Hawkeyes this past Thursday night. 84-79 is your final. Yes, this is not my normal studio. I'm in a cabin up north going skiing this weekend. So, trying to get this out to you guys. Let's dive into the highlights analysis here. Apologies for the quality, but let's work through it. Let's watch this game. Getting it going here. This is a name you need to know, Keegan Murray. All right, able to put that one in here. A little scoop up and under, not going to go for Caleb Houston. Nice put back there for Hunter Dickinson, though. Puts that one away. Here's the guy, Keegan Murray, with the end one against Musa Giabate. That's the guy to know. There he is on your screen. But good patience here, Giabate down low. Good feed from Dickinson as well. Number 22 here, Patrick McCaffrey with a little turnaround. Nice little fade away for him. Here he's going to fall. Somehow it finds Jordan Bohannon here on the wing. Got to close out a little better if you're Eli Brooks, but broken play. Iowa gets a little bit fortunate. Eli Brooks responds with a little runner there. Patrick McCaffrey says, hey, I can do that too. Little mid-ranger and Iowa with a four-point lead early here. Pick in the pocket. Caleb Houston, I don't know if I've ever seen him dunk. He goes up and puts that one away off the steal. Good job from him. Here, Philip Ribraca. I think that's how you pronounce his name. A little mid-range over Hunter Dickinson. Good shot there. Dickinson gets doubled. One pass, second pass there. Eli Brooks, three Eli Brooks from the wing. And Michigan down one. Now they're up one with Musa Giabate off the inbounds pass. Here, a little bit of an awkward pass. Uh, nice dish off of the steal there. Giabate throws it down with the right. Dickinson, one dribble, two dribble, three over the left shoulder, or the right shoulder, I should say. Finishes with the left, and good luck there. Good block here from Devontae Jones. Finds... Caleb Houston, again, run the court really well. Puts that one away. Iowa needs a timeout. They're down seven here. Nice three-pointer there for Keegan Murray, though. And they're starting to claw back here. Nice dish there from uh, Iowa. They get the and one there from top of the key. Musa Giabate bobbling the ball a little bit. That's why that wasn't called a travel. Able to finish with the right hook. He was money all day with that today. Chris Murray. Uh, finishing there for the Hawkeyes here. Good drive. Tough finish for number two, Joe Toussaint. Eli Brooks trying to get past here. Finds Brandon Johns Jr. from the corner. Not on. Not his night. Johns Jr. wasn't there. A really nice feed from McCaffrey to Keegan Murray. It would put that one away. And Iowa all of a sudden up four. But nice dish. Quick pass there. Dickinson Giabate puts that one away. Giabate with the rebound. Not able to get that one to go. Kobe Bufkin off the bench. Hard finish there with the left. And Michigan ties the game up here. Dickinson, again, seeing the court well. Try to double. Finds the open man. Kobe Bufkin in the corner. Puts that one down. It's a long two. Another turnover here for Iowa. They had plenty in this game. Nice dish in transition to Eli Brooks. Misses it. But look at Devontae Jones. Offensive rebound from a point guard. Putting that one back up and in. Here, tough drive there for Iowa. Puts that one away, and we're still tied late in the first. Dickinson, he was off from distance in this one. Not able to hit. He was 0 for 3 from the night there. Tough bucket there. Not able to get that one to go for Keegan Murray, but they get the put back here. Musa Giabate with the spin and the right. They could not stop him. And there, nice finish. Kobe Bufkin as well. Musa Giabate not able to get that one down. Little spin move. Philip Rebraca puts that one away. We're tied at 35 with under a minute to go in the first. Here, they thought uh, Faults got injured, or I'm sorry, got fouled there, not injured. And uh, you get a technical there for Jawan Howard. He is mad. He is hot, yelling at the ref. We'll see another replay here of what actually happened. He's saying, that's BS. That's BS. And then he goes at the ref. You can't do that, man. You just can't do that as a head coach going after the ref like that. That's just not, not what you can do. And they send Jordan Bohan, Jordan Bohannon, excuse me, can't speak today. And he puts down two free throws. Uh, Michigan put down two free throws of their own here at the end of the half. Keegan Murray, a little turnaround, and that's the end of your half. Two-point lead into the second for Iowa. There, nice finish, tough finish. Tony Perkins through contact. Musa Giabate again with the right hook. No stopping it if you're the Hawkeyes here. Thought that was a kickball. Uh, so did... <laughs> <laughs> so did Jordan. Oh my gosh. So did Joan Howard. Uh, anyway, that is a bucket for Iowa here. Good patience from Dickinson down low with the step through finishes that Michigan by one tough finish with the and one Keegan Murray. I'm just going to keep saying his name. 
The double comes from Iowa. Cross court pass to Devontae Jones. Nice hit there from three. The Wolverines by two. Nice little dish there to Rebraca. He finishes there. Eli Brooks with a little floater. Not able to get that one to go. Gets his own rebound, though, and finds Dickinson. Thought he got fouled on that dunk, but regardless, Wolverines up two. Mismatch down low. Keegan Murray over Brooks. He's going to finish that every day of the week. Another one, they find him down low. Uh, a little bit sloppy defense for the Wolverines. He gets his own rebound there. Misses his dunk, though. And on the other side here, Moose Giabate backing down again. That right hook gets a friendly roll that time, but really, Iowa, no answer. Devontae Jones, a little frenetic getting to the bucket there, but able to put it in with the little baby hook with the right here. Number 24 there, Chris Murray puts that one down for three. Keegan Murray says, I'm going to back down. Devontae Jones gets the and one, and Iowa is fighting back here, only down three. Nice delivery to the corner there. Eli Brooks puts that one down. He's going to drive the bucket here. Finds Dickinson coming behind, trailing, and he finishes with the left. Nice job. Jace Howard off the dribble. Hitting baseline, getting that one to go. Musa Giabate, watch out. Again, right? What's he going to do? I think he's going to the right hook. He goes to the spin left with a fadeaway. Puts that one down. Here, offensive rebound off the missed free throw. And Iowa still trying to stick around. Down 8, now down 10. Musa Giabate just absolutely going off in this one here. Nice move by Rebraca. Going on a little run here for Iowa. Keegan Murray, again, there's a reason he is a uh, first-rounder, it's looking like. There, Musa Giabate with the and one. Again, no answer for Giabate. Nine-point lead for the Wolverines. Bohannon makes it a six-point lead. Here, nice drive there, Pat McCaffrey. Good defense, though, and in transition. Find open Eli Brooks. Find Musa Giabate. Good patience and another and one. Wolverines up eight. Here, sloppy handle of the pass. Kobe Bufkin throws it down with the left in transition. Wolverines up 12, right? How can this game get close? Well, there's a finish there from McCaffrey with the uh, and one, as well as that previous layup. Seven-point game. Missed the three-pointer. That creates a long run out here on the rebound. Little step through finish for Tony Perkins, and all of a sudden it's a five point game. Can't handle the rebound. Dickinson, we're in transition again. And here's McCaffrey again, just too easy to the bucket. Puts that one down. It's a three point game with a minute to go. A couple free throws here for Caleb Houston. Rattles that first one home, swishes the second one, and Michigan has a five point lead. Again, they're going to their guy. Murray misses, misses initially, gets the pass off the rebound. And here we go. So this is a replay, right? They have uh, they have a replay with under a minute to go here. And they called this initially out on Iowa. They overturn it. So it's a three-point game with possession to Iowa. They get a chance. Not able to get that one. Good rebound from Devontae Jones. He misses the first free throw. Makes the second. So four-point game, two-possession game here. Really weak defense. I don't know what Michigan's thinking there, giving up the two with that easy. Still six seconds here. They're going to foul Demonte Jones. He again misses the first one, but makes the second one. That's important. All Iowa can do is tie here. Bohannon thought he was going to get fouled, just chucks it up, and then they're going to foul Demonte Jones off the rebound here. They say there's .3 seconds on that foul, and Demonte Jones puts it home with a couple of free throws. And that is the end of your game. All right, diving into stats here. Musa Giabate, 28 points. Career high for him. 12 of 15 shooting. Extremely efficient day. Eight rebounds, one steal, one block. Dickinson, 14 points. Five of 11 shooting, nine rebounds, seven assists, and two blocks of his own. Devontae Jones, 11 points with 10 rebounds for the double-double. Five assists, four steals, added a block for good measure. Brooks also added 13 points. Good game from him. And Kobe Bufkin off the bench, 10 points. I'm right, moving into three key points. Number one, career day for Musa Giabate, right? Played absolutely lights out. Not a whole lot that Iowa could do against him down low. It was an off day for Dickinson by his standards, right? And Giabate stepped up in a big way as the primary big man in this game. Still growth to be seen from him, right? We haven't seen the final form of who Giabate will be. But if he keeps playing like this, I'm not sure Michigan will be the team to see 
that final version of Musa Giabate. But hey, keep it up, right? Having that second big, having Giabate step up in this way was really great to see for his development. All right, number two, nice to see Kobe Bufkin off the bench performing well, right? Added 10 points off the bench, 16 total minutes, by far the most minutes of any bench player in this game. Key rebounds that got him some points. He had a, a, a nice steal that netted him a nice dunk as well. So efficient day for him, four of six shooting, right? Didn't try to do too much. It's quite a year overall for him. Uh, but, but it's just good to see him provide a boost from the bench. Michigan needed it a little bit in this game as well. And then number three, I'm kind of cheating here. There's two points here, but both Jones and Dickinson were big in this game for their secondary uh, attributes, I will say. So yes, Dickinson is usually one of the primary scorers. Came over game this year. It feels like he's been the guy on offense. Not the case in this one, right? But his passing ability is really what opens up um, this entire offense when he is doubled in the post, right? Teams often double team him. He has great court vision that opens up so much for this offense. And he added seven assists in this game. Yes, he was off from deep 0 for three, but at some point teams will either have to give up on the double or he'll continue to just tear him apart with his assists like he did in this game. And then Devontae Jones, right? Putting it all together here, not doing too much offensively. Four steals were absolutely great. Down the stretch, a little bit sketchy on free throws, but uh, was able to put some some down to put Michigan uh, out of reach in this one. And his offensive rebounding and his rebounding in general as a point guard is extremely valuable. That got him the double-double in this game with 10 rebounds. So he's really rounding into form and he's put a lot of those past performances where I feel like a lot of people have been like, ah, oh, we want more from him. He's not what we expected. I feel like he's finally settled in and he's performing really well as that lead point guard role. All right, final thoughts here. So Michigan continues to put themselves in a really solid bubble position for the NCAA tournament, right? Still some work to do here, but uh, with this tough end of schedule, you needed to win these kind of games against similarly positioned programs like Iowa. Uh, and they're putting it together, right? They're, they're starting to stack wins and really win these close games that earlier in the season it felt like got away from the Wolverines. So hopefully they can keep it going. Uh, the road doesn't get easier here, and you're going to need to to make an upset or two to keep those NCAA tournament hopes alive. That's all I got. Thank you guys for bearing with me for the quality. I promise we'll be back for the next video with a little bit better quality here. But I appreciate you all for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Stay safe out there. As always, go blue.